I think it's more of an advantage for me fighting 56 days after my last fight than you know, Sarah fighting 10 months after hers. If you think about it, this would never happen in boxing. You would never see um, two, two guys fighting for a title with one guy having a 10 month layoff. No promoter would let him do that because they'd be so worried about ringless. They would have him have a tune up fight first and then fight for the title. And so um, I think it's actually, it's more of a problem that she has not fought in so long than I fought so recently. Because I mean, I've looked at, uh, me and my coach have looked at all my past performances and I always did, had my best my best showings when there was a shorter turnaround. Everybody presents their own unique problems and she brings her own unique things to the table and um, people have tried a bunch of different ways to, to approach me and approach a fight and I always expect that they're going to come out with something different and so we'll see whatever different ideas that they have but we pretty much focus on not so much what the other person's weaknesses are, but we focus on what my weaknesses are and do everything that we can to close them for the whole camp. We, the more the focus is on me and making it, so whichever approach that they have, we, we have an answer to it. I was more interested in uh, the personality stuff with uh, the band than the actual fight. We could all watch the video and, you know, Shana could tell us, can, uh, Shana could tell us her impressions and everything, but um, it's, I think personality matters the most in, in a fight. And so um, that kind of insight that Shana could give me was the, the most helpful, I think. It just uh, tells you what their, their tendencies would be. And Sarah is, you know, on paper, she's an amazing athlete, and athletically, you could say that we're, we're very close to equals, and that's why people are, you know, so excited about this fight. But I think that I'm more of a fighter than she is. I can tell that this title is not as important it is to her as it is to me. You know, she has a kid at home, and, and she has to go home to that kid and I can afford to be selfish where she can't. I'm willing to die in there, and she can't. I'm cool with Kat, and I think she's, she's an awesome chick, and I really think that she does deserve to fight for the title, and you know, I've, I've talked to her before and said, you know, we someday are gonna have the title fight that you deserve. You know, just get better, get 100%. I want you the best ever. I don't wanna, you know, win when you're not, when you're not 100% yet. I want us to be able to fight each other at our best and leave no doubt. And so when she feels like that time has come, I'm ready and waiting for her. I just got to beat Sarah first, so I'm still here.